Hello everyone, this is Gautam Ayer and I would be demonstrating to you the brand new uh, C2000 launchpad that is the Launch XL F280049C uh, So let me take you through the uh, home page of this launchpad uh, over here uh, the document over here is pretty important to go through because there are a few configurations that we need to do before we uh, communicate with CCS and uh, C2000 where so that's something I would recommend all of you to go through apart from that uh, it's uh, very important for us to download the latest code composer studio that is V8 I would recommend uh, you to download the offline installer instead of the online and then after installing CCS V8 C2000 where is where you get all the peripheral libraries for DC2000 microcontrollers so downloading C2000 where is the next uh, one to go for so once you're done with installation of CCS and uh, C2000 where we can begin with the development uh, for the C2000 microcontrollers so the moment you open the CCS for the first time this is how the window would look like and let's try uh, importing few examples so before importing few examples for this launchpad uh, let me take you through uh, where exactly do you have these examples stored so it's under C colon TI C2000 C2000 where 1.005 is the latest one over here you have boards boards has all the control cards control sticks experimental kits so all the boards that uh, TI provides for C2000 so all the um, firmware as well as the design files the hardware design files are all stored over here so for C2000 uh, F280049 C launchpad you can find all the files over here right from the schematics the design files gubbers documentation etc so everything you'll be able to find over here as for the examples for this microcontroller it's like C2000 where device support and F280004X examples so this is exactly where you'll get all the examples for this microcontroller so let's try importing one of the example say the ADC example you go to project import CCS projects I'm just pasting the link that I copied over there and I'm importing ADC so copy projects into workspace is something should always be ticked finish it's importing ah, okay perfect so once it's imported let's have a look at what this project is configured as because F280049 has a lot of variants so right right from F280049, 49M, 49C but this launchpad is equipped with 49C so we need to select 49C and I guess rest seems to be fine over here apply and close again it's very important for us to have a look at what the target configuration looks like so that's under window show view target configuration okay so projects okay so again over here if you have a look it's F280049M so we need to change that to again the debugger is 100 v2 the debugger on uh, this launchpad is xds110 let's select the controller that's 49c okay so there's one more uh, trick over here it's like if you go through the user guide uh, for the launchpad it recommends for you to select 
uh, yes it recommends you to select the two pin advanced mode cjtag setting so once you're done with this you can just save So even if the name of the target configuration says 49M, it's okay. We have done the configuration for 4C. So we are good to go with. And I'm not going to go through the complete example code. Uh, but let me do a quick change with respect to the out of the box demo so that it becomes easy for us. Out of the box demo was configured for AA5 and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just changing the channel number to 5 instead of 1. Uh, once I'm done with that, all I need to do is debug. So it's building the project right now. And then it gave me a lot of errors. Exactly, it does make sense because it says that I have multiple occurrence of yeah memories okay makes sense so I need to remove my older exclude from build because there are two similar CMD files that's the linker file right so I'm just trying I'm removing one of them uh, 4 9 C RAM is the one relevant to this microcontroller on launchpad so once I'm done with that let me do a build it should build pro fine now so it's trying to build now linking perfect so that's exactly what we're looking for and then now let's debug yes so it's downloading the code so great so if you get any kind of errors over here please don't forget to change the advanced settings in the target configuration file without fail it's 2 pin c jtag is what we need to select okay so now that we've done that we've uh, successfully flashed the code to the ram what we need to do is we need to add this variable to expression i've already added over here so all you need to do is right click add watch expression once you do that you get this variable to the watch expression watch expression window uh, <coughs> on the launch pad I'm connecting a, a wire from J3 pin number 23 so I have a kit wire over there and all I'm going to do is connect to various uh, points on the launch pad so let me do a kind of yeah so you need to press a continuous refresh button and then i'm clicking on play so now let's see what kind of values we get over here so we have an e-stop over here again so e-stop is something like the code is written in such a way that every time you get a sample it's going to stop so all i'm doing is commenting uh, the e-stop so that uh, I don't have to stop after every sample so it just says that hit run again to get updated conversions so I'm just uh, commenting that so that I get continuous uh, samples no matter what so once I do the play as you can see continuously I get the updated ADC values so now let me connect my ADC pin to 3.3 .3. so as you can see I'm getting 4095 if I connect it to ground I'm getting zero perfect if I connect it to 1.2 that is the core voltage I'm getting 1496 1493 cool so that's around 1.2 again so as you can see this is how continuous refresh helps us it's a real-time microcontroller so that's how you take the best benefit of real-time uh, debugging so I hope uh, you guys got an idea of how to import set up the target configuration file and add expressions for sure so uh, that's what this demo is all about uh, thank you so much